This video presents a small device that indicates an input byte in hexadecimal on two seven segments LED displays. This device can be inserted into a breadboard or a connector. It displays in hexadecimal the byte placed on its eight binary inputs. It is powered in 5 volts and consumes only 10 to 15 milliamperes because thanks to multiplexing, at most only one of the 14 segments is switched on at a time. It can replace 2 to 3 11 vintage displays. Beware, this is a prototype, tested in the environment, with no guarantee of compliance with safety standards and electromagnetic compatibility. Here is the schematic. The two common cathode displays are driven by ATNI 2313, a microcontroller. Ideally, a decoupling capacitor should be added, as well as a pull-up resistor to the input PA2 of the microcontroller. Of course, the value of the cathode resistor can be modified according to the desired brightness. The PCB has two layers, with the microcontroller on the bottom layer. The program architecture consists essentially of an initialization step in the main loop. A constant array maps the 16 possible 4 bits values to the corresponding pattern to display on the 7 segments. The port B is configured as input with pull-up resistors. The ports A and D are configured as outputs. They drive the two cathodes and the seven segments, respectively. The data acquisition sequence reads the port B and extracts the two nibbles. The seven segments pattern corresponding to the low nibble is written into a variable named right. And the pattern corresponding to the high nibble is written into a variable named left. The left display multiplexing consists in successively extracting each bit of the corresponding seven segments pattern. The related segment is turned on or off according to the value of the sampled bit. All the other segments are turned off. The right display is multiplexing in the same way. The multiplexing frequency is about 680 Hz. It can be easily modified by changing the argument of the delay function. The microcontroller can be programmed in circuit, once the components are soldered to the board. I used a low-cost Olimix programmer driven directly by the IDE Atmel Studio. The device can be tested by connecting it to an 8 bits counter. Thank you for watching.